In the last few years, the Chinese government has announced a series of measures designed to make homes more affordable. However, a recent research study by the Chinese University of Hong Kong Business School shows some of these measures may not be effective. The study, entitled Using Purchase Restrictions to Cool Housing Markets, a within-market analysis, found that restricting the total number of properties that a buyer may purchase had a substantial and immediate effect on transaction volume, but no statistically significant impact on residential property prices. In the six months following the introduction of quantity restrictions, transaction volumes in districts within a city that had purchase restrictions fell over 40% relative to volumes in unrestricted districts. Over time, this difference narrowed to 30% for a 12-month window and 24% for a two-year window. However, there was little evidence that the purchase restrictions resulted in price declines while other researchers found price declines of up to 16% in cities with restrictions compared to those without, the new study found no differential change in prices across districts. Land prices, the number of parcels auctioned, and the buildable potential all were unchanged when comparing districts with restrictions and those without. There are a number of possible behavioral explanations for such results. For instance, while buyers were affected by the restrictions, the developers did not drop prices, suggesting they might expect the policies to be temporary so that they could sell the properties at more profitable prices after the restriction period. Read the article by China Business Knowledge at CUHK to find out more about the research.